Welcome everyone to La Mulana episode 4. This time we are challenging the boss of Spring in the Sky. I'm a little bit more low energy today. Um, so I'm recording this as a basically, you know, last attempt to um, get a video out today. Oh my god, I have been too, playing too much La Mulana too. Um, first off, um, what we want to do first is we want to go to the Endless Corridor. Um, as you might have noticed, we picked up the Ice Pendant. Oh my god. So yeah, this activates fairy points in, in the ruins, which you will see soon enough. Um, let's do this. I hope this all works out. Oh my god, I have been playing La Mulana 2 a little bit and the controls seem weird to me now. So yeah, hopefully we can defeat the, the boss of Spring in the Sky. Let's at least try it. It's one of the more challenging boss battles, I have to say. That's the wrong... I don't know. But that's the right one. Um, there's different types of fairies, which I will explain in uh, due time. Um, this is a healing fairy, which basically heals us. For a little bit, for a little while, um, it's pretty, pretty good to have this fairy, especially once we are going into the boss. That's going to be a major uh, development. Fuck. Fuck me. Oh, come on. The healing fairy is going to keep our health um, at maximum. For a time. If you can carry a healing fairy into the boss, um, that helps out a lot. Let's be a little more careful. As you can see, this contraption that we activated um, last time gives us access to the boss, which is a boat! This is a really cool boss transition. I really like that one. And there's a boss. Positioning is everything with this boss, so... It's a pretty difficult boss. I'm not gonna lie. Ouch. I think we might be a little bit too early. Usually I fight this boss a little bit later. In the playthrough. So, yeah. Um, let's not do that in this episode. Um, let's keep the boss a little bit. If you can't beat a boss, um, don't be afraid to just walk away. It's pretty important. Okay, that's a scale sphere text. We can open this one, which opens a shop over there, but the shop that we opened really doesn't have anything we need right now. So, yeah, fairy points respawn. What fairy you get is uh, random. Each fairy has a each fairy has a each fairy type has a certain chance. So yeah, um, I think we, first off, uh, I want to show you in the Gate of Guidance, there's something we can do now. Here we go. Wait, we don't have the Sigil yet? We don't. Okay, I don't remember where we get the Sigil. Um, 
symbol of the key, the water, yeah. Um, that's just a few basic, basic tricks. You can show items to the elder and stuff. Um, he's going to tell you something about it. Um, let's go to the Temple of the Sun. And let's explore a new area. We already unlocked this area, but I um, purposefully didn't go through the entrance. As you might notice. It was over here where we fought the sub-boss and got the ice pendant on top. Welcome to the Inferno Cavern. There's lava everywhere. Oh my god, I'm not used to the controls right now. Um, lava drains your health pretty fast. For now at least. So we really, really don't want to fall. Our objecti objective again is to um, get to the Grail Tablet first, so we can easily save and warp here. That should always be your priority. This also opens something up over to the left. Which we don't want to access yet. We want to um, climb down further. As I said, we want the uh, Grail tablets to be activated. I think I can fall down here, right? Yes, I can. Wow, I completely forgot the layout for a short while. Um, the Grail tablet is up here. There it is. That's the most important thing. Um, usually, in each area, we will go for the Grail Tablet first, and then we basically make our way. Um, let's save. Why not? Save often in this game. So yeah, um, there's some stuff we can do now. In this area, there's, uh, I think, three items we can find. So yeah, um, this is a puzzle you can solve. You need to jump into the lava, take the hit, and uh, put the weight down. Oh, come on. Then push the block over on this. Easy puzzle. And you get the ice cape. So, um, immediately, um, we take less damage in lava. We can swim in it now like we did in water. Um, it drains health us about as fast as uh, the water previously did. The poisonous water, so... It's still not completely safe to swim in, but it drains way less and it's easier. I'm actually pretty excited to show you um, Lamulana 2. Because Lamulana 2, I. As you can see, it doesn't instantly kill me. Um, Lamulana 2, I don't have as well memorized. And I can show you actually a lot of how you. Um, how you um, come up with the puzzle solutions. Like the puzzle solutions. I don't have the puzzles memorized. The most I have memorized is the specific tablets you need for puzzle solutions and stuff you need to check out and um, record. Also, we're buying the software. Why not? We need to buy every software anyway at one point. So yeah, we make our way back up, which is, you know, normal behavior. Um, let's go over here. This wall is breakable. Here we go. 
And this is a puzzle room with a block puzzle. So yeah. Um, here we go. I hope I have this puzzle memorized well enough. I really hope so. I know that we need to push this over here. Then push this over here. The gloves make this a little bit faster. So yeah, where we basically want to go is... Um, But the specific solution. Let's push this one over here and this one over here. I'm just hoping this is this is the solution for this puzzle. That doesn't seem good. Let's hope it works out. Then this one falls. Oh, seriously? Let's do that again. Why not? Yeah, this puzzle takes a bit of time to figure out. The first steps were um, basically what we needed doing. Be aware, you need to push off this block first, before you solve this. There you go. And because you need to push this block over here. If you don't push it off, you will get stuck in this puzzle. So yeah, um, let's do it this way th this time. It's a pretty straightforward puzzle, but it takes some planning. Here we go. This unlocks the last block, so... It's pretty easy from this point forward. Here we go. And we get awarded with a flare gun. Um, let's go to spring in the sky. No, not spring in the sky. What am I doing? Um, let's restock our health for now. There's not that much to do in... Um, in Inferno Cavern for now. We basically already did most of Inferno Cavern. Here we go. Let's restock health and how many shurikens do we have? Okay. Let's walk to Inferno Cavern. This pathway should be pretty straightforward. After a little bit of practice, you can usually pull this off pretty easily. But this isn't where we really want to go. So we make our way up. Um, this is an item you can completely miss, by the way, um, which we are getting right now. And it's not really that important, I just love getting it for completion's sake. Because my completion told, told, tells me to get it. Um, this puzzle, you need to stick to walls. Um, this is the first use of the clutch, clutch claw.
so yeah, what we want to do is we need to let go at the right moment, as you can see, and then clutch towards towards the wall at a, at, at the right moment. Um, I hope I can pull this off. This isn't too hard. Usually. It's a little bit frustrating, but it's not hard. Oh, come on. Seriously? <sighs> Some of these puzzles can get pretty frustrating, um, so buckle in. Especially timing based ones like this. Here we go. I think this should be a good position and then we kick off at the right moment. I had it. I just pressed the wrong button to kick off and yeah. Let's try this again. I promise this time we can do it. We can make this in a reasonable amount of time. Okay. And kick off. Here we go. There's no puzzle here. In this room. But let's select uh, shurikens. Because this is a mini boss. It's a rather difficult one, I find, sometimes. So, usually you can get him by just, you know, staking, staying over here and basically throw shuriken in his face and dodge the fireballs he throws at you, if you can. Like this. Like it's manageable from, from a distance. I'm going to show you just, you know, strategy for... Um, for easy wins, basically. Don't have any shurikens anymore. Come on. Grab that ball. You can hit him like this. Here we go. This room, by the way, can be tricky. This can be a really tricky room. Because you can instantly die. This is timing based, so let's try this out. Fuck. I already screwed myself. This is not good. Um... This is not good. Um, we will. We won't get this. <laughs> Fuck. You can really screw yourself in in this room, and I did it. What you want to do is you want to jump on top of the pillar before it goes the entire way up, and then once you are completely at the top level, you want to jump or you want to run off as quick as you can. But I screwed up and we won't get that item. I think this is permanent, so... Yeah, that's about all we can get in um, this area. For now. Let's go. 
heal up. At least you've seen it. It's um, a sub weapon that replaces the whip. By the way, like it, it's a weapon that replaces the whip. I think it's the the chain whip. It's a slightly stronger version of the whip, but we usually don't need it because we have the axe, which is stronger than this than than the chain whip. Um, and that's about it. Um, there's some areas where we can do stuff right now. Oh yeah. Um, since we got the flares now, the flares are an an important item. They are actually important this time. Also, let's talk to Morbrook. So yeah, um, you can go to Mulbrook if you need a t if you need a quick tip. She will cycle through a list of, of tips she can give. So if you need a tip on where to go next, um, talk to Mulbrook. It's pretty helpful. So yeah, um, as you m might remember, I think it was last time. We went over here, we flooded this, um, this section of the Temple of the Sun. And into this... ...dark area called the Chamber of Extinction. Um, what we want to do is use the flares to light up the Chamber of Extinction. With the flares we can finally explore this area now, so... Um, it's pretty good for us. Why do I have a Dragonborn equipped? So yeah, um, as you might notice, these glowing spots on the wall are basically light sources. Let's wait for a bit. They don't stay lit up all the time, you need to shoot another player at one to activate it. This is another, I wouldn't say, is it a mini boss? It's kind of a mini boss. Here we go. This took a little bit more health than I would have wanted to. But we get the chuck rums, which is really good. With a little bit of pre-planning, we can get everything. In here. That's a nice mural at the top, which we don't yet have the ability to explore yet. But what does this one say? Another hint for Eden, huh? So yeah, there's another fairy point down here. We can just take it. Not the healing fairy. Which is good for us. So let's explore the rest of the chamber. It's not a super long area. Here we go. And that's quite a bit of money again. There's a sigil down there. And this is a great tablet. So yeah, we made quite some progress. Healing fairy, heal me a little bit more. Why doesn't she heal me? What is going on? So yeah, first off, let's warp out of here. We don't have any health left. This is no healing fairy. Okay, I know what's going on. Um, this is a treasure fairy. Um, treasure fairies um, multiply the amount of treasure you get. 
Um, we will use a ton of treasure fairies later on to grind for money. So yeah, I didn't really notice that it wasn't a healing fairy. But yeah, um, it multiplies treasures you get. Later on, you can really grind quick and easy money with it. It's pretty, pretty easy. Um, let's go back to the Chamber of Extinction and... Yeah. Come on. Usually we we want to get the sigil sigil at the bottom there, um, but we can also make a way up this way, which gives us something. Let's finish up everything we can in this area for now. Oh come on. So yeah, if you open this we get another sacred orb, which um, enhances our health. Um, and let's try... Fuck me. I'm really not ready for this game currently, so forgive me. For this. We can break our way into here. Which is an interesting path. Um, yeah, as I noticed. Let's try this one again. They just doesn't want to work out. Here we go. Let's go up here. Go into the wall again. Oh, come on. Sometimes you get hit by stupid stuff. Here we go. We want to jump at up. Here we go. Here we go. That's it. With the sigil, we can open the treasure chest up at the top, I think. And I think that's all we can get in the Chamber of Extin Extinction for now. Um, this area... <laughs> Come on. This area will become... Pretty important later on. Really? Just jump from here. This is the life seal. So this is basically our third seal. Um, so yeah. Um, in the next one, we are going to explore Lamulan a little bit deeper and I'm going to show you how to access the um, backsides of areas uh, and I'm going to explain that later on next time so stay tuned for more Lamulana if you want to see way more um, of my content please leave a like and subscribe until next time goodbye